program that a number of people have contributed to and a wonderful guest and a full day of thought about the spirit of the day. So I ask that as we begin that phones are out of the way and anything that might distract us from being fully present is tucked away. And at the end of the service, we will have a special departure that Reverend Afori will say a little bit about uh, in her benediction, but we will depart front to back for that. So I ask for your patience with that as we find our way out in a way that the group that's organized today's service has imagined. So thank you for being here. Reverend Chapman. Thank you, Mr. Packard. As Mr. Packard says, we have a very special program today, and I want to thank Reverend Afori for uh, all her work in putting it together, and thanks also to all the DEI prefects and the beloved community ambassadors for stepping up to take part. I believe and hope that this celebration will inspire and motivate all of us to redouble our efforts to bring about the beloved community that Dr. King exemplified, that he challenged us and led us in working for, and that in the end, he gave his life for. So for our invocation, I invite you to join me in this prayer, which was written by Dr. King. O oh God, we call you different names. Some call you Allah, some call you Elohim, some call you Jehovah, some call you Brahma. But we know that these are all names for one and the same God. Grant that we will follow you and become so committed to your way that we will be able to establish in our lives and in this world a kingdom of understanding where men and women will live together as brothers and sisters and respect the dignity and worth of every human being, amen. A reading from the Jewish tradition. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord that we may walk the paths of the Most High and we shall beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore, and none shall be afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. A reading from the Christian tradition. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be known as the children of God. But I say to you that fear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To those who strike you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from those who take away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of those who take away your goods, your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. A reading from the Islamic tradition. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, praise be to the Lord of the universe who has created us and made us into tribes and nations, that we may know each other, not that we may despise each other. If the enemy incline towards peace, do thou also incline towards peace. And trust in God, for the Lord is the one that heareth and knoweth all things. And the servant of God, most gracious, are those who walk on the earth in humility. And we address, when we address them, we say peace. A reading from the Hindu tradition. O God, lead us from the unreal to the real. O God, lead us from the darkness to light. O oh God, lead us from death to immortality, shanti, 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 unto all. O oh Lord, God Almighty, may there be peace in celestial regions, may there be peace on earth, may the waters be appeasing, may herbs be wholesome, and may trees and plants bring peace to all. May all beneficent beings bring peace to us. May thy Vedic law propagate peace all through the world. May all things be a source of peace to us. And may thy peace itself bestow peace on all, and may that peace come to me also. A reading from the Buddhist tradition. May all beings everywhere plagued with sufferings of body and mind quickly be freed from their illnesses. May those frightened cease to be afraid, and may those bound be free. 
May the powerless find power and may people think of befriending one another. May those who find themselves in trackless, fearful wildernesses, the children, the aged, the unprotected, be guarded by beneficent celestials and may they swiftly attain Buddhahood.